Hello, today I am going to discuss about basic principle operation of positioner. First thing first, what is positioner? Positioner is none other than a controller. But this controller is specifically designed for control valve. Okay, so this positioner or control valve controller, we are trying to achieve the travel position or the travel distance based on the set point given to the positioner. This picture show the positioner that attached to the control valve. This is a positioner. There is a travel linkage here that will feedback the travel opening or position or the travel distance back to the positioner. This photo show the positioner that attached to the control valve. Okay, now let's talk about positioner. There is a cascade control happen inside the positioner. So what is cascade control? Actually, cascade control involves two controller. One is the master controller. The other one is the slave controller. So the master controller output provide set point to the slave controller input. The cascade control happen inside the positioner. Okay, from here you can see this is a travel controller, which is the master controller. This block is the slave controller or what we call pressure controller in this case. Okay, this is the electronic positioner. As we know, the controller, whether it's a master controller or slave controller, you need two input. One is the set point or target signal, or sometimes we call it command signal, which is given by another controller, maybe a PLC or DCS or any type of controller. Okay, another input is a process variable input, feedback from the field side. Okay, feedback from the few instruments. All right. So this the difference between the set point or the command signal and the process variable feedback from the sensor in the field will produce an input error or input deviation or input difference. In this case, it's a position error to the PI controller of the master controller. Okay, PI controller stands for Proportional Integral Controller. Okay, so this PI controller will do a necessary calculation and controlling and then will produce the output to the slave controller, which is a pressure controller. Okay, so as I said earlier or mentioned earlier, controller need two input. One is a set point or target or command signal. Okay. Another one is a process variable feedback from the field. Okay. So the difference between the set point and the actuator pressure signal, which was feedback from the pressure sensor located inside the positioner, will produce a input error or in this case pressure error to the PID controller. PID controller is proportional, integral and derivative controller. Okay, this slave controller or pressure controller will then do a necessary necessary calculation and automatic controller and then will produce an output signal which is which we call drive signal to the IP transducer. What is IP transducer? IP transducer, sometimes people call it IP converter, which is actually a current to pneumatic pressure controller. Okay, it will convert the current input to the pressure or pneumatic pressure output because it has a pneumatic pressure function here, so we need to provide the pneumatic air 
pressure to the IP transducer. So this instrument air pressure will be measured by the pressure sensor here, which measure the total pressure. All right. So this current to pneumatic pressure converter, which convert the current signal produced by the PID controller to the necessary or corresponding pneumatic pressure. And this pneumatic output pressure will be fed to the relay. Okay, this relay here, referring to the amplifier, it will either enlarge or reduce the pneumatic air pressure. Okay, and then this pneumatic air pressure output will be measured by the pressure sensor located inside the position. Note that there are two pressure sensor located inside the position itself. One is this pressure sensor which measures the total incoming pneumatic air pressure. The other pressure sensor here is actually measure the output pneumatic air pressure supplied to the actuator or the control valve. All right. So this will cause the control valves then move up and down based on the set point given by the another controller such as PLC. And then the movement of the control valve stems will, produce, will be measured by the travel sensor located inside the positioner. This travel sensor is actually a potentiometer or LVDT linear variable differential transformer okay so this travel distance or travel position process variable will be fed feedback input of the master controller inside the position so this is the basic principle operation of the electronic position so that's it thanks